Well, day two of Comic-Con wrapped up today with thousands of people all shuffling through a packed Colorado Convention Center. In addition to the hundreds of booths, celebrity panels, and creative costumes, parents are finding comics can be a great way to get kids excited about learning. Our Dylan Thomas spent the day at Comic-Con where he explored the pop culture classroom. Sure, Comic-Con can be great for any adult who is growing up watching or reading about superheroes and other fictional characters. But the Denver Comic-Con is trying to improve the educational experience for young children as well. Since 2010, the Denver Comic-Con has attracted thousands of fantasy lovers of all ages. Many show up dressed up as their favorite characters. However, 10,000 square feet of the convention center is dedicated to kids. We make sure that everything is PG rated or PG-13. At the pop culture classroom, kids can build things, test their drawing skills, and see comics like these that teach youth about Colorado history through art. The proceeds from the con fund my year-round educational outreach where I teach kids and adults to improve their literacy, art, and critical thinking skills. This is Logan Thornton's second year at the con, but his parents aren't newbies. Initially, he was kind of not all into the con thing, but now after he's watched some superhero movies, as you can tell, he is totally into it as well. Logan loves Marvel movies, especially Black Panther. He was trying to act out all the scenes in his seat, um, so it was instant connection there. The Thorntons spent their day at the pop culture classroom where Logan built things, tried out a green screen. You look great, kiddo. And like many adults in the con, was transformed into his favorite superhero. Black Panther. While Logan flexed his superhero muscles, thousands of others spent their day getting pictures and buying novelty items. An escape from reality for some and an introduction to the life of a hero for others. I have a fun day. Comic-Con wraps up Sunday, June 17th at 6 p.m. In Denver, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first.